Hello, and welcome to the Mortuary Assistant. A very, very creepy looking horror game where you assist in a mortuary, believe it or not. Um, currently for me, it is 10 o'clock at night, it is dark and I'm on my own and it is very creepy. And I'm already nervous, but we love a horror. So, let's go. There's a new update as well recently with a new ending apparently, so maybe we will get that. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre feel. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. Riverfields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Thanks. All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Okay, new job, let's go. Riverfields Mortuary. Nice little bit of piano. All right, here we go. Ooh, why am I so tall? Oh, okay. Um, this is on my remote, on my uh, controller. I think I might have to play keyboard and mouse because this is not ideal. Just give me two secs. That is better. Screw you, Vice. This is a dirty mirror. That needs a clean. When I was a kid, I was, you know, I still kind of am terrified of the noise the toilet makes. It's just so loud. Business cards. Okay. I see a note on the door, but I don't want to look at that just yet. Who is that meant to be? It's a weird, weird little image. Oh, 
Sorry, I had to check. Curiosity. Okay. Picking up. Okay, I think that is everything. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Oh, uh, please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Well, I already did that. Can we just sign it? Sign this. Oh. Oh hell no. Nah. Why would there be ominous music? Can I shut this door? I don't like having too many doors open. At least if the doors are shut. Oh no. No. Things can come in. Everything is shut. Rebecca. Ah! Great. Perfect time. Oh my god. I just finished with Mr. Dolphin. <laughs> Please no. wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. You. <laughs> You evil, evil man. Why would there be a note on the door for me? If you were just here. I know you're not the one who left the note, but... It looks so dark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close that. Oh, I can't close it. Ah, uh, gross. Oh... Hell no. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh no. The music. Oh. I'm scared. I'm scared. Why am I already scared? Can I, can I let go? I got uh, pins and needles. Like genuinely. Is the right guy. Oswald Dalton. I keep thinking I see something out of the corner of my eye as well. Like, I think it's just shadows. Yeah, I'm clicking it. Left mouse button, that's what I'm clicking. Maybe I just press E. He doesn't want to go there. Is this not the right one? Figured it out. Do I have to slide him in first. And you go. Don't worry about it. Hello, welcome to. You're... Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look up because you scare me. With your little feet wobble. Very... Alright. I'm just finishing up something here. Oh, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. His voice I'll is get out of your way when you're done. Creepy. You up in here. <laughs> but I'm still glad he's here. A clipboard. Okay. Wait, how do I... Okay. Dorothy Page, 87. Let's start with your face. Oh! 
Well, it's definitely dead. Okay. Uh, cause of death. Being old as heck. These old windows never stay latched. <laughs> no. It begins. It begins. She is a ghost. Look at all these things. She had a lot of melanoma, it seems. Is that what it's Great. called? Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Climb in where? Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. Listen. After that, we'll get started. Listen, uh, look, listen, Raymond. I don't know what your previous assistant did, but I will not be climbing anywhere. He's kind of dead behind the eyes, isn't he? Okay, so I click. You'll die. <laughs> what was that? I didn't say anything. Oh my god. You alright? Yeah. I'm fine. Sorry. No, I, my pins. I've got pins and needles in my hands. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. Name Dorothy. Age. Oh, you're not five. You're 87. You've got our shoulder, our arm, our leg, our leg. Oh. I feel like there's someone standing behind me. I can feel well. Other than you. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Can we go home now? Job done. Oh. Why did I shut these doors? Now I'm scared. Time to embalm. He looks like how I feel. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. My list. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and setting needles. Needle injector. Nope. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh. This is like when I go to the dentist. This is exactly what they do. It's how you get that perfect, beautiful smile. There we go. Insert eye caps. How do I? Oh, okay. I just click them. Meow. Yeah. All right. Looking good. I don't like that there are little windows there. Mix embalming fluid. Okay, we got to get a lot of fluids. I'm assuming it's these fluids. One. I can't hold anything else. Can we not drop something? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Uh -huh. Just keep doing your thing. Ah. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, 
one bottle. Oops. Two bottles. Three bottles. Oh. Make incision in carotid artery. Okay. That's in the neck. That's good. Just gonna just gonna poke you in the neck. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. Okay, we need forceps and tubing. Where are the forceps and tubing? Is it, is it these ones? Ah, oh. they were very small. I guess that's the tubing, no? Tubing. You <laughs> should just ram those in there. <laughs> Engage pump. Oh. oh, I don't like that. That's too loud. It's too loud, Raymond. Raymond. Ew. Raymond, I'm scared. Oh, you're actually creepier than that. Actually, it's it's pretty on par. I mean it's done. Oh, that is horrible. Turn off pump and remove tubes. I can do that. When do we make them look pretty for the funeral? Fill an empty bag with cavity fluid. Then insert into the abdomen cavity. Okay. Okay, that'll be these last two bits. Uh, uh. Okay, we just ram that up on in there. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Why is it not? Okay. Am I not ramming adequately? Or we go left and right? Oh, I think I found the spot. There we go. Mix cleaners in bathroom to create tank cleaner. Cleaner. Why did the music do that? It's like a rumbling. I'm so scared. Oh. Okay, it's not as loud as last time. We're still gonna hide. Apply moisturizer to face. Darling, it's gonna take a little more than moisturizer. We're gonna need like, like some better cream than that. That's not making any difference. Ah! Uh... Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are 
Are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're I... doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay, I'm going my way. Goodbye. 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 Screw you. I am taking this coffee there. Eh. Oh, okay. I guess not. That was creepy. Oh, I got like tingles on my spine. I feel like someone is watching me. I am not having a great time. And yet this is what we live for. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault. But he sent me home my name is right Rebecca. after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, he just said it to get me out of the building. Oh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new... Hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Maybe exercise That's some demons? Doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit, that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go, like, right now. I'll talk to you later. I am way too Where excited about this job. Ooh, what we got? Death and Decay. That's nice. It's clearly a hobby of mine. Anything interesting? Fashion? Movies and methods? Music is getting very annoying. The, 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 the one the lady gave us. Love you, Dad. Ten years. Oh. Oh, okay. That adds some context. Yeah, and this is the one song radio station. We're going to play with the one song radio What is with this Rick and Morty ad lib situation? It's all we have the budget for. I'm DJ Touche. Never liked that coffee anyway. And bomb. Oh, there are Mickey's. I was looking for those, I think. Maybe some toast before we go. No. Ooh. Toothpaste. Leave that open. Helps keep the room cool. Why? Why at night time? Why don't we leave this open? In case we need to make a quick getaway. I'm scared. Is he gonna be in here? Cause I don't want to be on my own. It's raining. All right. Guess I'll head to the back and get started.
This door is shut. It didn't used to be shut. Uh. Hell no. Did you lock me in? I'm watching you. You stay away. Hi, Rebecca. Mr. Delbert, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night. Stay calm, okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it, what the fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. Oh no. I'm gonna need fuses. Oh, I need one. Old key. Old key. Tape recorder. Okay. Sorry, just just first day on the job. Oh wait, didn't they say they were gonna leave my my badge somewhere? Or is it the key? Is this the key I need? Wait. <gasps> <laughs> quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Let's see if we could climb out the window. Yeah, hello? Listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. Bro. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its is chosen it Steve? body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but I wish I could do more for you. Yeah, you could come in here. To learn what I know. You could, you could come help me, maybe? No? Sets to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling Stay again. grounded, my ass. Let me out of here, boy. Anything can be manipulated. You know Listen what? To the tapes. It's, it's always hard being the new guy. You just gotta. You just gotta do the best you can do. Ooh. This is Whoa. insane. Whatever. Just be a professional one. Grab a body and <laughs> grab a body. That's what I always say. Uh, mini cassette. The night shift database. Ooh. Hello. A computer program combining all my findings into one Whatever. reference Just point. Grab a body. The database contains and get all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly. All the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay Whoa. these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic
mnemonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. I'm not going to read that. need this information. My ID card is in my Oops. personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Your passcode. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your face. own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. One Look zero carefully. one four. If you six. notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Did I pick that up? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Well. Thinking of you. Thinking of you.